Hi again. Recently, Stealthy Wood received several requests for custom-made furniture. This isn't considered consumable or storable. It's a service where we invoice based on the hours spent, so it's more difficult to measure its profitability. We also work on many of these projects simultaneously, which makes it hard to have a clear view of what resources we use on each project. Considering all of the projects in our pipeline, having an overview of the profitability of our work could help us decide if we should continue to offer the service or not. To do this, timesheets will be very valuable because they help us monitor the budget via resource allocation or manage time on the schedule. More than that, they can be useful in measuring the planned project against the actual project in progress. With the project planning software, the project profitability can be measured effectively when everyone is completing timesheets. Data is also auto-populated and we can do up-to-date profitability reports. Since Odoo does this with its project and timesheet apps, I will do a profitability report for our project customization service. So let's jump in our database to see what this looks like. All right, here I am on my database. Now for this particular case, we're gonna need both the sales and invoicing apps, All right? Of course you can use these individually, but we will need both of them for this flow. So I've already installed them and we're gonna start with sales, okay? So I'm gonna to jump to the sales application, go to configuration, settings, and from the settings page, we're gonna be sure we have the units of measure option activated, which I do. If you need to, go ahead and select this option and be sure you click on save before moving forward. Now let's create new products. So we're going to go to products, products again, create, okay, not import, sorry, create. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a name. So I'm going to call this um, customization service. We can say this can be sold, but it cannot be purchased. For product type, I'm going to select service, of course. I'm going to add a sales price. And I'm also going to change my unit of measure. So instead of units, I want to sell this service uh, by hours. So let's go ahead and select hours here. And then we're going to jump on over to the sales tab and change a couple of things here as well. So the first will be the service invoicing policy. So instead of ordered quantities, we're going to say timesheets on tasks. Okay, and then for service tracking, I would like to create a task in an existing project. Okay. And then we will be uh, required to add the project here right below. So of course, I'm gonna choose an existing project called customization project, okay? But I can also create and edit one on the fly. Let's go ahead and select this. And then we're gonna click on save. Once we have this new product saved, we're gonna create a quotation. So let's go to orders, quotations, create. I'm gonna choose my customer, Doug Fletcher. Then I'm gonna add the product. So customization service, and we'll say 20 hours. Then I'm gonna save and close and save. Once I have saved the quotation, I'm going to have my project overview. So this will be the project that's linked to the customization service product here. Okay, but once I confirm it, so once the quotation is confirmed and turns into a sales order, Odoo will automatically create a new task inside of that existing project for me. All right, I will be able to access both of these things right here from the SO. Very convenient. So let's go ahead and look at our project overview. So I'm going to click on this right here, and then I'm going to go to overview. All right, again, here's my overview. I'm going to see um, what needs to be invoiced, what has been invoiced, and also timesheet costs. However, you can see I don't have any data here, but we want to go ahead and start um, timesheeting on that task. So what we'll need to do first is go to the employees app. Okay, we want to add a timesheet cost for each employee. So let's go to Abigail Peterson. We're going to click on edit and then go to the HR settings. At the bottom of this page, we're going to be able to add a timesheet cost for this employee. So let's go ahead and say $50. It's quite a lot of money, but she does a really good job, so it's definitely worth it. Okay, and then we're going to go back to the sales order. Okay, and I'm going to go to the task um, through the sales app, through the sales order. Okay, I can always go to project as well to find the task, but I'm going to take this route. So we're going to go to tasks. Then I'm going to click on edit once I'm on the task and assign it to my employee. So let's choose Abigail Peterson. Okay. 
And then we can go to the timesheets tab and we're already going to see the 20 hours that are planned here. So that's coming from the sales order. Okay, so it's automatically added to the task. Another thing that's convenient for us. Let's go ahead and add some timesheets. Okay, so we're going to choose the day, the employee. By default, it will say, um, it will say, it will add me, sorry, because I'm logged in as Mitchell Admin. Um, however, I'm going to go ahead and select Abigail Peterson since this task is assigned to her. So for the description, we're going to say sanding for the first five hours. Okay, and then let's say she spent 15 hours uh, carving. All right, and then we're going to save. Now, once we do that, we see we uh, have completed the planned hours. All right, down below, we're gonna see the hours spent and the remaining hours. And again, this will be according to the planned hours, but this doesn't really give us um, anything about the profitability. All right, so what we're gonna do is actually go back to the sales order so we can quickly access the project overview. So let's go to the project overview and click on overview again. All right, now we have some information. Okay, so we have what needs to be invoiced and also the timesheet cost. Okay, and then we can always click on profitability as well. See this in another way. All right, let's go back to the overview. From the overview, we can actually create the invoice. So let's click on create invoice. Okay, I have some options. I have regular invoice, um, down payment or down payment um, fixed amount. So either by percentage or fixed amount. So we can click on create and view invoice, which is what I'm gonna do right now. Once I do that, I'm going to uh, have a draft invoice, which I can validate. And what's really cool here is I can actually see the timesheets related to this invoice, okay? So I have uh, all of the details here, okay? So I see five hours were spent sanding and 15 hours were spent carving, all right? I have all that information right there from the invoice. And if we go back to the sales order, so I'm just gonna follow the breadcrumbs back. If we go back to the sales order, we're gonna see everything again right here. We're gonna have the project overview task and also be able to access that invoice from here as well. How convenient. So it's super easy to um, invoice your customers based on timesheets. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.